Having a good night, Dom? <laughs> With Adrian, but yeah, really great night. It's Still doing the uh, fashion thing? Yep, very much so. Um, we've come up with a concept Hugo. It's good, man. Yeah, it's called the W neck. Hugo Cavalli is a visionary. Well, uh, yeah, now his brand Sodomy is stocked in DJ Amaya and shit, so he's a sellout. It's no longer underground, granted, but the guy is quite an industrious, he's got Dickhead. a good level of business acumen. There's only really one brand in this local area that's had success that mirrors where we want to be, and that's Sodomy. Sodomy, Sodomy. But it was spelled with a T, it was a silent T. And yeah, so you'd expect to start with an S, given the sound of the word, but when he put a T in front of it, people just fucking flipped out. The whole fashion world changed almost overnight. Uh, they were stocked in all the coolest stores, just around Bondi, like Too Choosy and Chaos and shit like that. An electric monkey. Yeah, and all of a sudden, boom, like, contracts flying at them from London, New York, Paris. Rolls Royces. Sodomy, Sodomy. All of a sudden they get all these starts all around the world, and they have to change the name from sodomy with a T to sodomy with a K and fucking shit hits the fan and in one And what night. an ass fuck that would be. Yeah, like people around here were fucking losing it, you know, like I can't believe sodomy has a K now instead of a T and their jeans went from like 350 to like 450. That's sodomy, sodomy. They confused people sodomy. to the point where they were like, I'll pay 400 bucks for a pair right. of fucking jeans. $400 is sodomy. sodomy. The, the T was dropped for a K due to some copyright infringement. But they the copied a band name. It was straight up fucking piracy. We could have called our brand The Living End and, you know, gotten some small amount of Australian people who knew what You actually we wanted to call our brand Five to begin with. And as you well know, in the early 90s, there was a fucking UK pop outfit called Five. Who are like, totes old school. They're totes old school, but the fact is, well, I'm not going to call my brand name after a fucking boy band called Five. You've got Bondi Beach full of women who have their breasts out all the time, yeah? Yeah. True, and so why can't males' breasts be seen in the same sensual and sexual light? There are some that are hairy and some that are bald. The point is they're all beautiful. Comforting kind of thing, isn't it? It really is. I remember cuddling up to my father and smelling his very manly uh, deodorant smell. And I was always so comforted by that and it was very hairy and you'd lock your hands in his chest hair. Yeah. Hence the concept. You, you could make a whole series of clothes that bear certain parts of the male body to make it sexy, moorish, haveable, wantable, lustful. You don't see enough. What about a gun? A gun show? Absolutely. You could have a, a gun window yeah. where you could unlock it, open it up, and just see that Fuck beautiful out. ripple in the middle of the bicep that says, you know what? I do work out. That is an interesting concept, man. Whatever. Oh, don't get so jealousy, man. I'm not, Seriously, I'm not don't being get all jello. fucking thingy. Sodomy with a fucking silent T. Wow, groundbreaking. I'll tell you what, maybe if you lost that dickhead partner of yours, we might be able to do something. How's that sound? Dom and I have been friends for such a long time, and we are partners in this uh, project and product line. Um, I'm sure, hopefully, that we could have a way of working together with both of us? Uh, I just don't like I don't work with people I don't like. So, take that as a compliment. <laughs>